For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the top 10 best neutral eyeshadow palettes for 2022. I try to give you guys a variety between luxury, high-end, and affordable, as well as older and new palettes. A number of these palettes have been around for quite a few years, but they still are the best of the best. And then also I have a few new ones that I think are amazing. More brown-based neutrals and also palettes that I feel like can deliver you many different tones of neutral whether that be cooler warmer or more neutral neutral so i have a really great variety here all these are phenomenal quality if you want to see the best 10 neutral eyeshadow palettes that you can get your hands on then you are in the right spot so i'm just going to go in alphabetical order by brand this is not in any particular order so let's start off with a this is a palette that has been around for such a long time but it is just a classic neutral palette it hits all the bases for me. So, so this is the ABH Soft Glam Palette. You can definitely pick this up on sale. You don't need to pay full price for this since it is an older palette. But this has warm tones, neutral tones, some orangey tones right here. This I carry in my bridal makeup kit. I have a second one that I use because it's so versatile. It covers so many looks that my brides ask for. And the quality of course is great. The mattes blend so beautifully. As you know, ABH is super pigmented. The material Metallics here are really gorgeous on the eyelids. This is a foolproof, easy to use eyeshadow palette. It's one of the best. It's been around for such a long time. So if you feel there's a hole for neutrals in your collection, this in my opinion is a must have in every neutral lovers collection. You won't be disappointed. Smoky looks, you can have colors for eyeliners, highlights, everyday natural looks. It's amazing that in this 14 pan palette, they were able to cover so many bases. Next up, I am moving on to Artist Couture. This has definitely creeped up in the last couple of years as one of my all-time favorite neutral palettes because again, it's just so foolproof. So this is what this one looks like. You can see it's a little less smoky than what the ABH would look like, but I love that there's a pop of khaki here. There's a mustard tone here. This is a really great everyday neutral palette where you don't need to think too hard about what look you're going to create as well as it being just a really great quality palette. You'd be surprised as to how deep this goes. It is very, very blended and it's just a trusty palette to have in your collection. I think it's gorgeous. It stands out from the ABH because of these green and mustard tones that you don't find very often in neutral palettes. And I feel like it's a very modern take on the neutral eyeshadow palette. It will totally keep you on trend. Again, you can get something smoky. You can get something really light as well. They have another palette that's like this, but I prefer this one. It's a little bit more neutral. The other one is a little bit more warm. I don't know. This is the one I keep grabbing for in the shimmers here, also insane. I wanted to add an option in here that was also pretty affordable, but gave you a lot of colors to work with. So I do always recommend looking into ColourPop. They have a few really fantastic neutral palettes. The one that I chose for you guys was Bare Necessities. I think it covers a large range of neutral bases. So when you look at it, you have more cool tone light neutrals here, a little bit more in the peachy browns, more in the mauve family, more in the chocolate browns, and more in the deep smoky browns. I think it lays it out in a way that it's very easy for the user to be able to come up with looks. And you can get so many looks because look how many colors you are getting in this palette. If you don't have a lot of colors in your palette or options, I think this is really great because I love how ColourPop is able to keep this at an affordable price point while offering you a lot of different shades. Now, I will say with this palette, there are some redundant shades. A lot of the shades are going to pull very similar on the eyes, but nonetheless, it's a great palette. It's a great value, and you really have an endless amount of neutral options. I love the mauve roll. I think that makes this one stand out from the other palettes that I'm talking about today, and ColourPop's formula is super solid, you guys. You know, it's not going to be as good as the ABH or Artist Couture quality, but it's, it's definitely very easy to work with. If you're not in eyeshadow formula snob like guilty over here you're definitely going to be happy with this formula and look into other options that ColourPop has as well if you're not interested in this one maybe it's too big maybe it's too much at once money wise they have going coconuts which is really great it's a nine pan palette and they also have a lot of little quads and five pan palettes as well that are going to have really great neutral selections so definitely take a peek on their website see what they have available to you because ColourPop is a great option when it comes to adding neutrals at an affordable price. Okay, I have quite the luxury option here, but this is one of my favorite 
favorite everyday kind of cooler toned neutral palette it still is a little bit more brown based but this is a Dior Quint and you know Dior is very very pricey but this is one of the easiest to use formulas it's extremely pigmented and so pretty and effortless looking on the eye it looks really elegant it's not too glimmery or obnoxious this is the shade soft cashmere now purchase Dior with caution they definitely have a lot of hits and misses I totally do need to do a Dior rankings one of these days very soon but you can see this runs more in the taupe family as opposed to being really warm or red but I love that I find those tones to be a little bit more flattering on me but again you're gonna have to want to treat yourself if you pick this up this is more so about the luxury experience but I'm certainly not disappointed with this formula it's one of my favorites it's one of the easiest to use it's a quick easy to grab thoughtless palette and if you want to treat yourself Dior soft cashmere is one of my all-time favorites Quite the contrary for the next one, but I wanted to offer you an extremely affordable option. These are the e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadows. Now, formula-wise, are they the top 10 best quality that I have? No, but these are so great for the price. One of the best values for the price that you'll find. These are $3 each. They might have gone up like a dollar in price maybe. They were $3 when I bought them. The one that I would recommend the most to you, this one is my favorite. This one I find to excel in quality is the shade Truffles. This black shade right here is incredible. One of the best blacks and I can't believe it is in a $3 palette and this shade also is really shimmery and this is a very easily guided palette so that you're able to get a super simple very pretty glam neutral look if you're looking for something a little bit more brown based maybe not quite as cool and smoky as this one cream and sugar is also a really great one to get into you can see right here this one is a little bit more tan a little bit more everyday friendly if you like to be a little bit softer but you can pick up both of these for like six dollars so how can you complain about that or you can pick up just one and if you are balling on a budget you won't be disappointed with these eyeshadows I honestly cannot believe the price point now, I don't love every eyeshadow that they have that comes in this format. I think some do kind of work like $3 eyeshadows, but the neutral ones they really did a good job with. Oh, this is one that is not as popular, but I love this palette so much I had to mention it. It's definitely one of my favorites of 2021, so I had to put it here. This is not appreciated enough in my opinion. This is the Melt Cosmetics Brunette Palette. And part of the reason why this is so underrated is because Melt Cosmetics can be very inconsistent. But I freaking love this palette, you guys. It is so easy to use. I think it smooths the texture on the eyelid. They blend like butter. There is one flaw. I think like this shimmer right here is a little chunky, but let's pull that color out. The rest are so beautiful. These are some of the smoothest blending mattes I have ever worked with. So if you struggle with getting your eyeshadow to look blended, you're not going to have a problem with this one. In fact, this is a great beginner formula. The colors aren't too powdery. And I just love the gradient that you see here. It starts off really light. Then you have a peachier shade. If you're more fair, then it goes to deep, to deep, to deepest. And this actually can get pretty dark. I even use it for eyeliner sometimes. And then you have a pretty simple array of shimmers. You have just a neutral everyday champagne shade, a golden shade if you're feeling a little spicy, and then this shade right here, which again is not my favorite, but it still is workable. But in terms of the mattes, this is one of my all-time favorite neutral palettes. Ever since I tried this last year, it's been in my top for neutral palettes, and I highly recommend you looking into this. Nobody talks about it, but it is so, so good. Next one that I have here is from Nabla Cosmetics. This is the side-by-side -side palette. And what I love about this one is the variety of neutrals that you are getting here. And then also, of course, Nabla, in my opinion, has an underrated eyeshadow palette formula. So if you take a look, you have all different depths here. You have light to black, you have warm, to cool, to really neutral, you have golden shades. It's just an all-encompassing neutral palette that is going to cover every single base for every single look that you're going to need staying within that kind of brown toned neutral family. The shimmers are really, really pretty and it's a really great ratio of shimmers to matte here. I'm very particular about my brown gradients and I love that they have all different types of transition shades for me to choose from, for me to build from. I love building my brown, starting off with light, then a medium, then a dark, 
then a deep dark, that in my opinion, is the best way to get the most blended look. And this really covers all of those bases. So if you can get this on sale or even full price, honestly, Nabla's palettes are worth it at full price, but I've just seen this on sale. So if you see it on sale, definitely go for it. Again, another underrated palette. The mattes can be a little bit on the powdery side, so a little messy, so just be careful of that, but they are full of opacity and very, very easy to blend. Another underrated nude palette that it's just amazing for how well it covers all bases of any kind of neutral look that you're going to need. Okay, it could not be a best neutral palette without this guy right here. This is a pricey, pricey palette, but in my opinion, it is worth it if you are going to consistently be using neutral colors. This is the Biba palette by Natasha Denona. She is, I think, maybe the most expensive palette that I'm talking about today. You still get a lot of colors though. And again, what was important to me about this video was adding in palettes that could give you a variety. You can see you have a cool toned row here, a warm row, and then this kind of camely mustard row. These are some of the easiest shadows to use. If you've ever watched my channel before, you know Natasha Denona has one of my all time favorite formulas. The mattes are going to blend within seconds and then the shimmers are going to pop like your lid like no other. These are one of the most expensive formulas on the market for a reason and for me I do think they are worth it. <laughs> they do work like the most expensive formula in the world in my opinion. If you don't wear neutrals every day or a lot of the time I don't think you need to spend that amount on this palette but if you are strictly using neutrals multiple days of the week. You want something really reliable, something high quality that's going to last forever. I think that this one is going to be worth the splurge for you. The next one that I have is the one that I'm currently wearing. This is another one that is going to offer you a lot of variety. This is the Scott Barnes Snatural Palette. Dang, this is a really great formula. It is um, on the more pricey side, but again, take a look at this variety here. You have really warm red tones here. You can get a golden look like I have today. I use very warm matte crease shades, and then I used Scott Hollywood right here all over the lid, but you can get some insane smoky eyes some cooler tones again with really great gradient with the mattes here and lots of options tone wise yeah i mean scott barnes is just a really solid formulation this is a great neutral palette it is created by a celebrity makeup artist who is known for the bronzy neutral look so you can really see that experience within this palette it's gonna cover all of those bases that you need so i highly recommend this one it is really great for travel you have a lot a lot of options to work with the formula is really pretty and if you like extra shimmery kind of glimmery eyeshadows on the lid I recommend this one as well because the lid shades in here are really really beautiful I mean look at my eyelid I love them and then the last one that I have is from Viseart now I don't recommend this one because this is super duper expensive this is definitely for artists but Viseart just launched kind of a mini size of this palette which makes it so much more affordable. These are some of the best mattes that I have ever worked with. They are used so frequently in the pro community for a good reason. They are just a great traditional matte formula. They're not overly powdery. They're not overly pigmented. They just work and they're easy to blend and they do exactly what they're supposed to do. So I don't have the smaller version just because I have the bigger version, but the smaller version is what I recommend because it is more affordable and you get every single neutral matte that you are going to need. Look at the gradient here. I'm all about the gradient, the different tones, cool, warm, and neutral. It's just the perfect matte neutral palette. Now, if you are looking for something more affordable, maybe more easily accessible, I'm just going to throw in the Makeup by Mario. Master Matte is also really great. These are two very similar palettes. Honestly, I prefer the Viseart formula though. That's why I'm recommending the Viseart. I just think the formula is better than the Makeup by Mario, but those two are very similar. Okay, so I did my 10, but I do have a bonus one for you. And the reason why it's a bonus is because it's sold out. So just in case that ever comes back or you come across it, I wanted to add this in, but this is the newest Tom Ford quad. One of the newest, not the newest, but this is the Metal Lust palette. This came and took my world by storm. It's just a little quad here. It is 
the worst value in this video. It is $89 for a quad, but dang if it isn't the best formula. So I love these mats. You can use the same single mat on your eye, but it looks like multiple mats as you layer. They can add depth within themselves and on top of themselves, which is incredible, super easy to blend. And then this is one of the most amazing lid formulas as well. Tom Ford really did it with this palette. It definitely overshadows his previous formulations. This is the best of the best from his line. One of my favorite tones for neutral looks. And I love that it's a quad because you don't have to think too hard about what look you're going to create. So just in case you happen to come across that you're interested in Tom Ford, I wanted to squeeze that in. I know, if, don't hate me if you can't get it, but it is one of the best neutral palettes of 2022, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, there we have it. Those were my top 10 neutral eyeshadow palettes that you can get on the market in my personal opinion there are so many more amazing neutral palettes out there I struggled okay there was a lot more I wanted to put in this video but I didn't want it to overwhelm you with the options because these are just neutrals after all and they're some of the easiest to formulate so let me know down below what some of your favorite neutral palettes are let's share let's converse if you are still on the hunt make sure you check out the comments to see some other neutral palettes that others love in this community and thank you guys so much for being subscribed to my channel and liking this video and i will catch you guys in the next one bye guys have a good one